Hello everyone, it's Kimberly and welcome back to the channel. I have an energy update for you that was not by plan or design. I actually just sitting here and they're pulling at me. Um, and so I'm just shuffling. I'm going to bring you an energy update for our collective twin flames and those along the awakening journey at this time in the universe on the planet. Okay. So, um, while I shuffle and cards pop out, um, I want to talk to you guys about a couple things, a couple changes on my website. So thank you guys for the new subscribers. Some of you already know me, are familiar with me. Some of you not so much. So for those of you who have worked with me in the past, my services changed a little bit and it's just I'm trying to morph and change with how I'm evolving right now behind the scenes because there's a lot of evolution going on um, in my own journey. So couple new services on the website. Um, the intuitive guiding session is still there. I created a, um, a soul journey session, which is basically, it's a, it's a hour and a half session, which, you know, will probably run a little bit longer. Um, this is when we can use either memory recall or regression, depending upon what you need. We can go into either during that time. Um, I ask that you show up to these sessions ready to do the work, wanting the answers sort of at that point where you're not going to be um, kind of tentative about the work, where you would be ready for it, um, wanting to do that level of work, wanting to go deep. Um, the way the sessions will be structured is we'll spend about a half hour syncing up, talking, discussing, um, and I'll get an intuitive sense of where we need to go. It'll give us a little bit of a road map. Um, we'll sync up our energies, we'll call in your guide team, and then we can go directly into the facilitation of some sort of a regression or memory recall. Sometimes it's conscious, sometimes it might be subconscious work, depending upon what you need. This might be visiting past lives, early life, this might be early childhood memories. And this is just, you know, specifically so that you can clear the blocks and help clear the pathway so that you can continue to align and ascend. Um, so if there's some places where you might feel stuck and you don't know why or you know you have some clutter in the closet that you might want to clear out, this might be um, a way for you to do it. My sessions are very progressive. I use a lot of intuitive guidance even in memory recall and or regression. I'm in those memories with you so I feel it out with you. can help guide you after. Um, so that's there. Um, don't forget there's group coaching now. So group coaching on Wednesdays starting September 18th, I believe. And that's a more affordable way to do soul coaching in a group setting, um, a small intimate setting, but in a group setting, um, every Wednesday you can sign up for that on my website. And I have made it possible for you to just sign up like per week. You don't have to do a package. Um, I was able to revise that. And what else? And there's a new workshop that I just announced, and it's in October. You can check it out on the website. It's called The Goddess in All Her Glory, and it's a divine feminine workshop. You can read the description on my website, spiritualmaterialgold.com. You guys, don't forget, I'm still taking donations for to support my alternative healing um, with cancer. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support thus far. Um, Please think of me or consider donating to the channel if you like this reading. Thank you so much. All right, so I was feeling the pull, I guess, because there's a lot of shifts going on uh, for Twin Flames right now, particularly. I'm sorry there's a glare. I just kind of set this up at my desk impromptu. Um, I was guided to pull from the Ascension deck, which is Diana Cooper. And I feel like we're going to get some, this was really calling to me. I feel like we're going to get some poignant messages here. So so the message that I got, the channel message I got was that things are stirring. So things are stirring for both the feminine and masculine. For the feminine, I feel like she's breaking through to a heightened level of awareness and of course the feminine has had this, but it's even more heightened than it's ever been. 
part of this is that she's listening to the synchronicities and signs. She's following the guidance. So it's leading to more and more. It's opening more and more. It's taking her further and further. So the, the message that I got from spirit was step through the door feminine. So like, you know, step through the threshold. Um, and when, when like you might be walking on your path, then see a new threshold, step through it, you know, treat it as that treat it as a threshold or a portal or gateway to a new dimension of knowledge wisdom um something that you're going to acquire to help you step up level up um don't think that you walk through one aperture and that's it oh, okay that's my whole new life okay that's all the healing okay it's all done that's not really how it works okay you're going to step through many and it's a process of steps and it's a process and um, I feel a lot of the feminine leveling up in an even higher way than she has been. And the channel message that I've been receiving for the masculine is the masculine is working really on um, how to cultivate what he's wanting to cultivate and or express, <clears throat> excuse me, in the physical. So some things are unexpressed in his emotional body. He's trying to figure out how he wants to say them, and it could be expression towards the feminine. And the other aspect is he's trying to kind of figure out, um, based on his intuitive guidance, he wants to kind of bring some of these things that he's seeing and feeling into life, and he's kind of wrestling with how, right? It's that logical side of the masculine's mind that's wrestling with the how to bring this into fruition. Um, at this time, I have goosebumps again. My hair is standing up. I don't know if you guys can see, but um, so those are the two aspects I feel like he's wrestling with. So let's see what the cards say. I'm just pulling like a general spread and then I'll relate it back to um, feminine and masculine. So St. Germain. Whoops. This probably isn't the best setup for my camera, but again, it was just really impromptu, so bear with me. All right, so we have animals. So I do feel like the animals are coming into everyone's awareness um, and air. So this is like feels like communication to me. All right, and this is transmuting, violet flame, violet light, and uh, animals, signs being guided. Okay, so we've got quite a story here. All right, let's see. Um, let's pull from the tarot deck. And then I'll talk about each of these and we'll, we'll pull a few more cards. Again, this is not masculine or feminine. This is basically all of the collective energies and then I'll kind of pull it apart and relate it to the feminine and masculine. That's how I was being shown to do it today. So working on some sort of a balance. There's um, a balancing going on in the collective, um, especially with the emotional body. Um, the emotional body is trying to find balance in the physical body. Um, so we got Queen of Swords. This is about the communication. And the Lovers in Reverse. Oh, and a bunch of cards just popped out. Magician, and we've got, this is so interesting, Manifestation is the bottom of this deck, the little, um, little water deck, and the Magician is the bottom of the tarot deck. So we're talking about, there's this underlying wanting to manifest, wanting to manifest something new. We'll talk about what that means for both the feminine and masculine. In the meantime, we had three cards just pop out and um, we're just gonna kind of play some and then I'll hold them up and talk about them. So let me see if I can pull this back a little bit so you guys can see a little, a little better. Push this up. 
<laughs> Again, sorry you guys. I think my need to just start the camera and get it rolling, you know, outweighed um, get, making it look pretty today. So sorry about that. Um, all right, so let's start with the let's start with the um, ascension deck. So animals coming up in reverse. So I feel like the animals are coming up because. They're coming closer to us at this time. I don't know if you've noticed, but like nature is coming indoors. We are being asked to go outdoors and become one with nature. And I think at this time, especially like um, masculine, ha the masculine has a lot of an animal um, symbolism coming into his life. It's kind of showing him things. It's guiding him. These could be things like... Um, Snakes, owls, wolves, um, it, like, there's a, there's something powerful coming in. It's about, like, shedding old skin, stepping into his power, independence, um, wisdom, listening, inner knowing, those types of, um, animals I feel like are guiding the masculine, um, so this card is symbolizing, like, this, respecting all animals becoming one for the feminine I feel like the the sort of work here is to you could also be having animal symbolism I don't think it's as strong of a guide at this time as it is for the masculine but certainly we have animals around us all the time I feel like for the feminine animals are coming in animals insects especially insects um, are coming in for the feminine and you're here trying to become one with humanity with fellow man but the question is can you become one with nature because becoming one with nature is the prerequisite to everything else and if we can't take the ooey gooey crawly wally yucky wucky bugs and become one with them we're gonna not be able to sustain oneness with fellow man either remember nature is here to help us the animals the bugs we're all one we're all sharing this planet we all have a role and I feel like the insects and the bugs coming up like maybe onto your deck, your balcony, your house, um, they're coming closer to us. They're trying to get close to us. They're, um, they're trying to help us up level and they're also helping us work on that sort of oneness, that dissolving that, you know, wanting to kill them or wanting to get rid of them or wanting to exterminate them or feeling like disgusted or feeling like you want to scream if a bug's crawling on you um and there's some work to be done around that um around compassion for all all animals all life um so that's that we have saint germain and saint germain is the great alchemist and magician and we're seeing this because he's talking about um so wait, this is the present. I feel like this is present is coming up with the animals. This is like, this is about, you know, the presence is about mindfulness, silence, being present. This could be about being present in nature. This could be about not wriggling out of discomfort when you're around certain animals. This could also be about signs, synchronicities coming to you in the present when you're in the flow, when you're really just listening and receiving the messages. When you're not future tripping, when you're not past dwelling, you're able to receive those those animal totems, those animal symbolisms better. But this is also about like presence and we're better to practice presence than in nature. Um, so the talents card is reigning over the Saint Germain and talents is in reverse. It's like you're on the right path. This is about your gifts. Um, this is the doubt that maybe the masculine's having. Like he's trying to figure out how, and like the reminder I could have if you're a masculine listening to this, and or if you are, you know, a feminine listening for your masculine. It's just for the masculine. There's nothing to figure out. All of the guidance is being presented to you, and it's up to you to let go of what doesn't serve, be truthful with yourself about that, and then transmute into light whatever darkness has fallen upon you, whatever sh whatever is coloring your shadow or darkening your shadow. Um, this is about co-creation energy. This is about making the things that are alive in your mind, the dreams in your mind, come true. 
you might feel at this time masculine like they're far off or it might be hard to do or how do I do it but I really feel like everything's closer than you believe and you have to believe in the power of manifestation you have to believe that you're a powerful manifester and the way that you do that is by keeping yourself in a high vibration transmuting the dark into light and by letting go of what no longer serves to make room for the new in those visions that you're having masculine those things those dreams those things that you want that you're realizing it's okay to take action towards them as long as it's inspired action sometimes the masculine I think it's gun shy because he doesn't know how it's all gonna fall into place um, and I think baby steps and acting towards um, the fulfillment of what you desire as if it's already happening as if you you know um, feel it's possible is going to be really important for the feminine I feel like you're very much co-creating with your masculine whether you realize it or not this is giving me goosebumps um, as you go further up the wrong up the up the rungs on the ladder on the ascension ladder like I said feminines very much working into coming into the next level of her ascension um, overcoming some aspects within herself that maybe she hasn't looked at or need to be fully integrated um, and I feel like I see a step up for her I see one more step up the ladder I see going in deeper going through one threshold taking more steps going through another threshold taking more steps there's like um, more knowledge more awareness more wisdom coming to her if she's open to it and this is really going to um, in an energetic way help pull the masculine up of course we can't take those steps with the intention of pulling the masculine up because then it would be null and void then you're manipulating the energy and you're not doing it for yourself but what I'm trying to tell you is there is a co-creation here and as you do these this work and you take these next steps it is anchoring there's an anchor and that was the word that I heard so strongly earlier today I was like doing something so trivial I swear I was like putting saran wrap on something to put in the fridge and or I was like putting putting something away and and in the kitchen and I just heard it I just heard anchor like that there's an anchoring going on with the twin flames like energetic anchoring you don't need to have any communication whatsoever you just have to be cultivating your own path and really be doing your work and there's such an energetic anchoring happening right now and it's creating a balance with the masculine and feminine both from within and energetically from without on the planet and um, between the twins so we'll talk more about this balance in a second because this balance is leading to a new a new beginning and I think like a new way of communicating a new way of expressing especially for the twins together like how they come and tell their truth um, how they express their truth to the world how they hold their power and this might be in reverse because I feel like this is being worked on this is a balance that's being worked on this is not mastered yet it's being mastered it's in progress um, so let's go to the air because I, I feel like the air is um, symbolic here so it says the element of air supports truly magical cosmic qualities um, you know, this is talking about like the sylphs, elementals, unicorns, um, uh, using air to um, direct, you know, the current and lead you to enlightenment, ascension, enthusiasm, freedom, and divine vision. Um, there's this, there's a gush of wind coming like there's a hurricane forming right and like literally off of the coast of the US and um, there's also a gush of air coming in to push things forward I feel in terms of communication and so I feel like it's almost time to communicate like the deeper desires between the twins and this might not be easy to admit or express because it's gone unexpressed for a while for some for some of you, you might be surprised at what the other, your counterpart has to express. Um, 
self-worth is reigning over this and um, the peacock. So I don't know if you guys can see that. It says self-worth at up at the top. Um, there's a pride, you know, with the masculine, which he's still kind of afraid. He's still kind of afraid to let down his guard, even though he either wants the feminine back or he's realizing he made a mistake in the karmic relationship or he's realizing some, some things about himself and just is coming into his truth. Um, this could also be about the masculine stepping into his worth, like in the work front and just communicating his truth. Um, standing up for himself, setting healthy boundaries, um, especially like with work and or with maybe like karmic partners that need to be released or karmic situations. Um, for the feminine, this is another part of your, I feel like walking through the threshold, walking through the portals, it's you're walking now in line with your integrity and this is helping you to up level in a huge way. So in alignment with your integrity, there's no struggle to create boundaries. It's a graceful walk. I see the feminine walking gracefully. There's a new wisdom. There's a new self-mastery. She's definitely a little further ahead than most of the masculine, um, a lot of the feminine are. So that feels good. So underneath this is the queen of swords. And I feel like you know, the twins are kind of, you know, one of the twins, it's, it's the one that has the more, it's the one with the dominant feminine expression, feminine expression. And it could be that either of the twins has that right now, where like, it could be that both of the feminine um, aspects of the twins are coming together to communicate. I feel like the feminine, the feminine aspect of the masculine wants to communicate his truth. And the feminine aspect of the feminine is much more imbalanced to receive it, but also to like be in like a healthy level headed place to make clear decisions and have good discernment. And so this is like a good time for communication. I would say between now and like they're saying October 12th. So it's September 5th today. So they're saying between now and October 12th, and I will have to look, forgive me, I'll have to look at the astrology for October, but um, I don't know why they're saying the 12th, but now in between October 12th, they're saying this is a great time for communications of all sorts. Things will go your way. Um, more heart-centered expression, more feminine expression coming through, more balanced expression, more balance of the divine feminine, divine masculine, more chance for things to be understood and not misconstrued. And underneath this, we have the Five of Cups. And reverse and this feels like you know for the masculine I feel like he's putting down something letting go of something finally you know coming to the realization that something needs to be let go of to step towards this truth and you know for the feminine I feel like this is about allowing yourself to let go of the past fully or anything that's held you back to take the steps forward, to go through the threshold, to take the next step, to take the next step, to really believe. Um, this is just a signal that we're still letting go of some of the remnants of the past. Um, this could be karmic relationships. These could be wounds that we're licking. Um, but I do feel like we're breaking through this and we've learned from this. That's why, why the self-worth is crowning over this column. It's uh, We've learned from this. We've learned from this experience here. These cups that have fallen, uh, we've learned from that. And we're taking this forward now and communicating and setting things up in a new way. So over under the animals and the presence card or present card is the lovers. And this signifies to me... Um, a coming together, like again, it's the feminine and masculine energies balancing. Um, I feel like maybe perhaps there's been a reaching out or maybe one party reached out to the other and it wasn't fully reciprocated. That's why we're seeing this in reverse right now. Um, but don't lose hope because I feel like that's going to balance and both parties are doing a lot of work and remember one is the feminine's anchoring the masculine and there's going to be more communication and better communication coming through 
So it might be that that first communication or was vague or maybe the timing's still not right for lovers to come together, but it will be. And or this could be also um, lovers that have not met yet, new, new divine partners, soul partners that haven't met yet in this lifetime. I feel them getting closer, like inching closer, like not quite like in the like on the radar in the vicinity, but not quite ready to meet and it's but it's coming maybe over the next six months or so for some of you um and then we have the hierophant the hierophant so when we see the hierophant it's this is really like i feel like a signal to listen to spirit listen to allow the higher guidance to come through um this is about presence. This is about, I feel like, you know, meditating, following the signs. This is about knowing that this union is coming um, in the physical and trusting. Um, there's also a message that I'm getting around, like connecting into groups or connecting into soul family um, at this time. It's going to be very beneficial. It'll help propel you along your journey, but it'll also... It's either going to like attract or magnetize the counterpart, the divine counterpart, and or you might even meet a divine counterpart by coming together in a group setting. Um, something like that's going to magnetize the other is what I'm getting. And like I said, bottom of the deck is manifestation and magician. And this is all about bringing our, especially with masculines, really thinking about his dreams because he knows his truth now and he wants to know like how to bring it into life. And... The simple wisdom I can give you just from my own journey right now is everything is magic. Everything is magic. And um, you have to believe in magic. You have to. And it's magic through faith, the faith that you have within you, faith with unwavering faith without doubt. Remember, your subconscious mind does not know the difference between what's real and what's not. So if you imagine something, or you see something in your mind's eye that is, you know, is doubtful or that is part of your fear, your subconscious mind like records that and at an energetic level, it can download it right in and manifest the fear or, or um, help you manifest the thing that you actually don't want. So purify your thoughts for sure, I would say, um, and have faith and believe. It's like, the energies are anchoring and balancing and I love too, like with the two of pentacles that there's the ship here on these emotional watery seas and you know there's like I'm saying there's a masculine feminine anchoring one another and there's a balance that's coming into place and we're going to see that balance a lot by October again I'm getting October now some new guidance around October and October being um, a, a like a pinnacle for a balance, um, especially in the collective between feminine and masculine energies and um, between the divine feminine, divine masculine, their interpersonal relationships, the counterparts, the twin flames. Um, there's a lot of balance coming into play at that point. Um, what do we, uh, bottom of the ascension deck is Lady Nada. So Lady Nada is the twin flame of Jesus' higher self, Sananda. Um, this is a reminder to um, bring back ancient healing methods, helping the development of intuition, telepathy, and wisdom, and acting for justice. Um, your guidance is to trust your spiritual and psychic abilities and use them to help those in need. And that's definitely true. And I think both the feminine and masculine are being forced into trusting their abilities like for me, I'm trusting, you guys have no idea what this journey has been and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, but in my cancer journey, what it was five weeks ago is not what it is today and I have returned greatly to the medicine woman within me who had been lost for thousands of years. I mean, I've been somewhat connected to her, but boy oh boy, like the amount of trust that is required in this process is huge. Um, to say no to conventional methods, to say no to even alternative methods and say, nope, I have the divine guidance within me. I actually have the wisdom within me. I'm going to follow, you know, this truth that I know. Um, it's also learning with others. It's becoming one with nature. It's 
going back to yeah a ancient that means one with nature that means that means signs and symbols coming through animals flying overhead that means healing ourselves through nature that means listening to our telepathy and wisdom and um trusting and relying on that and that might mean too like getting away from technology a little bit so that we can really hear that come through clearer um, it's not that technology doesn't have its benefits, but I also believe that it pulls us away from ourselves and we must take that time to connect to nature and also through meditation um, back into our higher self and to hear and to really listen. Let's pull from the um, Ask Your Guides deck. Let's just ask for a uh, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, like clarifier card um, or validation for some of these messages. So we'll put feminine here and masculine there. Okay, so we've got loss. And discontent. Okay, and denial is at the bottom. So I feel like for the feminine, this is about her maybe not stepping through the threshold to use her talents and gifts. And this, again, this is why the talents card is coming up in reverse. This is her artistic side, her creative side. Her um, There's a discontentment because maybe you're not taking enough time to do the creativity to do the things that bring you alive, that reconnect you to your passions. And that's all part of your spiritual journey. It all is. It's all connected because those things put you in alignment. Anything in nature, amongst the trees, anything creative, it's going to pull you into a state of alignment. And it may just be for 20 minutes a day or 30 minutes, but do it because it's going to bring you alive. It's going to give you an outlet. It's going to bring you out of the logical mind or loop thinking and help you come into alignment. And in that space of alignment, you can hear the divine guidance or when you come out of that space of alignment, you'll be able to hear the divine guidance better, clearer, louder. I always say, you know, spend a half an hour doing what you love, whether that's painting, cooking, walking in nature, you know, anything creative or meditative. And then, and then whatever question or doubt or thing that you were struggling with before, ask it the minute you come out of that thing, the minute you get out of dance class, the minute you get out of, you know, if you finish painting, ask yourself that same thing you were wrestling with earlier and receive the clarity. Because when we come out of those activities, those things that put us into alignment, we have such clarity um, and that clarity will stay intact for a while. And the more we do these things, the more we can stay in this flow and maintain this vibration. So you might go from doing this a half hour a day to it being your profession, the thing that fulfills you, right? And so um, that's a beautiful thing. That means you'll be able to sustain alignment longer. Um, for the masculine, loss. And I feel like, again, this is reiterating this five of cups in reverse energy. And this is a five, the, lo the loss card. So we've got the fives. This is transformation. This is about um, turning loss into gain, turning, you know, a challenge or something like recently that was lost into something new, like the Saint Germain energy, the transmuting energy. Um, this they're saying not all is lost, masculine. It's just turn around and you'll see there's something new, totally new, waiting, even better, and and you're creating it, you're co-creating it. So um, that could be pertaining to karmic situations, work situations. Um, so time to really look towards the new. Have faith, trust, manifest. Remember that energies are anchoring one another and balancing out at this time. So I hope that's helpful for a little update. Um, felt guided to post this. Oh, and... The bottom of this deck is 22 divine helpers, which is denial. So some of, I feel like some of this air energy, swords energy is like unexpressed. It's almost like it's the knowing of how we feel, but not coming forth to express it or like denying ourselves the feelings. 
And I do feel like that's going to shift and the angels are helping us with that and we're coming more in touch with our emotional bodies to integrate it and we're going to be able to express our truth in a much better way and truer way, deeper way. So I love you guys. I'll leave it there and I will see you soon. Again, if you guys want to work with me or donate to the channel, spiritualmaterialgirl.com. Love you. Thanks for your support and for following. See you next time. Bye.